What up, it's your boy T Bird here with a new reaction. It was good over there. I'm doing double vision early. Here with another top 10 anime. Caught this from DB Entertainment reacting to this. This is top 10 mental breakdowns in anime. Now you know how epic and dramatic anime gets, and a lot of them are definitely known for their mental breakdowns. So let me see what they say. Sometimes characters get pushed over to the edge. So let's see which one of these characters get pushed, got pushed over to the edge. So here is top 10 mental breakdowns in anime. Let's go. Little, little, um, uh, I, forgot been, I forgot to do this in the last video I did, though, that, that announced that this was made in June, 20, June 6, 2017. So any characters or anime that's not featured that have been that have been released out there will not be featured in this anime, okay? In this uh, top ten list, so let's go and do this. Okay, okay. Let's just stay calm and settle things in a cool, reasonable manner. Holy shit! Nope, never mind. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And also, probably at the time my video is not my my voice audio is not seeing my video, my voice. I want everyone to have a uh. uh Again, we publish double a uh, double day. that re zero. I do want to see that one. Content. For this list, we're looking at some of the toughest, most traumatic experiences an anime character can go through, and just how crazy they can be driven as a result. Some of these unfortunate events veer way into spoiler territory, so you've been warned before. I can't take it anymore. Ah! Just kidding. Let's begin. Shit. 10, Yomi, Black Rock Shooter. <laughs> High school can be a pretty rocky ride growing up, mm -hmm. especially for the quiet ones like Yomi. She's a shy girl who wants friends, but isn't really good at making them. When she finally makes some new friends, her so-called best friend, Kagari's jealousy forces a distance between them. <laughs> this soon changes when Kagari suddenly returns to school, making new friends and gives her a cold shoulder. Oh, her shit. seems to implant the idea that no one needs her in her head, a fear that is soon solidified when her old bestie tells her she's moved on. Damn. <laughs> Number nine, Matt on guard, Ace Attorney. <laughs> Most people in Ace Attorney tend to get a little nuts when they're revealed as the culprit. What makes Matt stand out from the rest then? Well, he was being defended by Wright himself. <laughs> <laughs> the suave actor thought he could avoid getting his hands dirty by hiring a contract killer to eliminate his co-star. When it looks like the truth is closing in, Matt's assassin, the killer, decides to turn his attention to his employer. Fearing for his life, Matt confesses and begs to be sent to prison for his own protection. <laughs> oh my god! Great. Sayaka Miki, Suela Magi Madoka Magica. Sorry, you scratched some space up though. That's a crazy motherfucker. Two things to become a magical girl and to win the heart of the boy she loves. Sadly, both come with unfortunate consequences. Sayaka becomes a magical girl and wishes for her ailing love interest to be healed. So, happy ending, right? Nope. Her love is not returned, and as well, this result, she go, go, go on it. a dark pit of depression. It all heads down one inevitable path and confirms a horrifying suspicion that magical girls are destined to become witches. <laughs> Number seven, Delandau, the vision of Escaflone. <laughs> As with most of the elite warriors of the Zybok Empire, Delando loves two things, fire and blood. Things change for the rabid wild dog in two separate encounters with Van. In the first, Delando's perfect face is cut, but during the second, when Van unleashes a berserk Escaflone on Delando and his dragon slayers, the cold-hearted killer is mortified and barely survives. He falls into a deep depression, hallucinating and calling out for his poor departed minions. Ooh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Number six, Sasuke, Naruto Shippuden. For years, the brooding ninja in training Sasuke has had one goal, to kill his brother Itachi and avenge his family. While he was already pretty messed up, believing that his brother Itachi slaughtered their clan, it was truth that finally broke Sasuke down. What exactly are you telling me? I mean, what, what are you trying to say? 
Why would Itachi do such a thing? It turns out that he didn't destroy his clan out of malice. It was all to protect Sasuke following a deal he made with the village. Though he finds out a little too late, as he's already killed his brother, and we start to see a whole new side of this already brooding ninja. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Monkey D. Luffy, oh. One Piece. For someone that is so happy-go-lucky, some might find it surprising to see Monkey on this list. On rare occasions, even he can be overcome with sadness. The most prominent died. of these moments is when Luffy's brother, Ace, sacrifices himself to save Luffy from a death blow. When the dust settles, Luffy refuses to accept his brother's loss as a reality and goes completely blank. It just goes to prove that even the optimistic heroes can be broken at times. <laughs> Number 4, Subaru, Re-Zero. Oh, Subaru goes through a lot over the course of this series, mm. but with his returns by death curse and all. After coming into the company of Rem, Subaru witnesses a few cycles of death and torture he is totally not prepared for. Oh shit! That's right, because he can, he can, um, as he and Rem get, get resurrected to play in time. Captors, Subaru can only watch as it all plays out, unable to help her. The psychological scars that Subaru receives during these time loops are enough to leave him in a near catatonic state. Yes. That's a beetle juice. Number three, Nina, Coat Geass. Wait for me, Princess Euphemia. I'll avenge you, I swear. We all have beloved idols in our lives, and it sucks when they leave us. Still, we don't think that there has been nearly as dramatic a reaction as Nina has here. After Euphemia, the Princess of Britannia, saves her life, Nina becomes her biggest fan and even falls in love with her. Stop it! Who the hell are you? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> But when the princess is gunned down in a massacre, <gasps> Nina's mind oh, snaps to mourn the loss of poor Yuffie in their own way. Nina, however, goes and creates a thermonuclear bomb to take all of Area 11 down. Whoa. Tell me where he is! Princess Euphemia will be avenged! Where is he? Number two, Shinji, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Again, I hate this ceiling. He has already scarred for life well before he comes to Nerve's doorstep. The continued rejection by his father and the added weight of the world on his shoulders doesn't lessen Shinji's fragile mind either. Oh, and he lives with the verbally abusive Asuka. Then we get to the end of Evangelion, when basically everything goes to hell. Unable to save his friends and prevent the destruction of Nerve, Shinji flat out goes bonkers. Right? <laughs> Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh shit! Chop them off, dipshit! <laughs> but it's only a matter of time before the ruthless Saiyan Prince meets his demise. All things come around. Number one, Light Yagami. Oh Death shit. Out. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! You can only live at the top of a pyramid for so long. So, what happens when you finally lose? For Light, aka Kira, it results in one of the most amazing freakouts of all time. <laughs> The cool and confident light, unable to talk his way out of being caught, explodes before the eyes of the investigation team. Oh, Here, shit. he acts less like the god of the new world he's aspired to be, and more like a rabid demon out for blood. Oh, shit. Write him down! Ah, kill them now! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Yeah. Some good countdown right there, definitely. Though, mm. some crazy mental breakdowns as well, man. And I mean, I still am slowly, slowly trying to finish uh, Death Note, though. Just a lot of animes keep coming, hopping in the way, but I make it back to it now since I finished Double Man Cry, baby, though. That anime was crazy. Oh my god. It ended, it was sad. The last second, last episode was pretty sad, but the last episode was crazy. Well then, uh...
If you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bird signing off. One love.